When students examine materials in the world around them, they become aware of the similarities and differences in their characteristics, such as the way materials look, feel, sound, or change. In second grade, students begin to develop an understanding of materials by investigating properties of solids, liquids, and gases. This lesson will be an introduction to the properties of solids, liquids, and gases. The goal of the lesson is to have the children distinguish between the three. They will also be able to identify some of the physical properties of each of them. Firstly, we'll talk about solids. A solid does not change its shape. When I put it into a cup, this is a solid, it's a hole puncher. It's always a hole puncher, it does not change its shape. I asked the children for different ideas from around the classroom, such as a glue stick. Put it into a cup or a container, still retains its shape. Hopefully the students will come up with all kinds of ideas of solids, all kinds of examples of solids from around the room. They'll look around the classroom and come up with examples of solids. And we'll be able to answer what makes it a solid. It always retains its shape. A pen, when I put it into a container, still retains the same shape. Next, a liquid. A poor liquid it has to be a colorful liquid, it can't just be clear water. I have orange juice here, you can use colored water, detergent, anything that has a color in. This orange juice took the shape of the cup. It took on the shape of the cup. I will then pour the orange juice into another container, such as a plastic bag, baggie. The orange juice took on the shape of the baggie. Also, I will note that when I move the, the liquid in the baggie around, it moves around. Another characteristic of a liquid is that it flows. I will then ask them for, for other liquids around the classroom um, or from around their household, what they can think of for a liquid, since there are probably not that many liquids in a classroom. But hopefully they'll come up with some ideas of liquids and then we will again review the characteristic of liquids. One, we take the shape of the container that they're in. Two, they flow. And then we will discuss the differences between solids and liquids. Solids don't change their shape. A solid in a baggie does not change its shape. It's still a pen in a baggie. And it does not flow. I will then introduce gases by taking a balloon and blowing it up. I will ask the children what made this what made this balloon what's in the balloon? They will hopefully answer the air. You blew air into the balloon. I'll say yes, my air that I blew is called a gas. And that a gas is in the balloon. I will then deflate the balloon. and ask the children what happened. Where is the gas? And they hopefully will answer gas is everywhere. And that is a characteristic of gas that does not have a shape. Um, this, is, this is a lesson, as I t said before, an introduction to the properties of solids, liquids, and gases. And um, this was a springboard for a unit on, a science unit. We, we, we would then, in another lesson, um, bring an ice cube in, talk about how a solid can turn into a liquid, what causes a solid to turn into a liquid, how a liquid can turn into a solid by freezing, melting, introduce all those terms. Um, and I think this is an interesting lesson for second graders.